Hello, you on the other side of the screen. I'm delighted that you've joined us today for this video review of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. We've worked hard and fast to get this review ready after days of testing in our labs. Dexamark engineers put the S21 through a specific series of test protocols for camera, display, and audio, and we'll be talking about the rather surprising results in this video. Back in 2020, Samsung surprised everybody with its series of S20 phones. And this year is no different, as it's come out with three flagship phones in the S21 series. The S21, the S21 Plus, and the S21 Ultra. For this video, we tested the S21 Ultra, powered by the Exynos 2100 chipset, which is available on the international versions of the S21 series. There's been a lot said already about this device, given Samsung's reputation and the incredible spec sheet on this phone. Samsung would be hard pressed to do better than the S20 Ultra, but the brand has fixed some of the shortcomings with the S21 series, and it's made some subtle improvements to the camera, to the screen, and to the design. By the way, speaking of the design, I don't know what you think, like it or not, the design is and feels very premium. The 6.8 inch display with a 20 to nine aspect ratio should be great for composing, viewing, and editing images and videos, thanks to the dynamic AMOLED 2X screen and the high pixel resolution and flexible frame rates of up to 120 Hertz. Samsung says it's the best screen on the market. And is Samsung right? Well, I won't say any more until we get to the display portion of our review. In the camera department, the Galaxy S21 Ultra's major improvement over the S20 Ultra is replacing the periscope tele lens with a dual tele setup. A 70 millimeter lens takes care of medium range tele shots, while a whopping 240 millimeter lens allows for extremely long tele zooming. As for the primary wide and ultra wide cameras, they look more similar to last year's model. In addition to the four sensors, obviously there's a laser and a flash. So there's a lot of possibilities to get creative with your photography. By the way, if you're on Instagram, don't hesitate to follow us and use the hashtag Dexamark and tag us in your posts because every week we'll be highlighting some of our readers' photos in our stories and in our feeds. And it doesn't matter whether you're using the S21 Ultra or another device. We just like to see what you're doing and how you're being creative with your photography. Okay, now let's get back to the review. Let's talk about audio. In the audio department, the S21 Ultra has two stereo speakers, one top firing and one bottom firing, and Dolby Atmos technology. Now let's take a closer look at some specific aspects of the device. Our first look will be at the rear camera. When it comes to color, the camera produces the usual fine Samsung color rendering with high levels of saturation and nice skin tones even in difficult backlit scenes. As you'd expect from any high-end device in the year 2021, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra produces good target exposures in all conditions. The wide camera also had accurate target exposure and extended dynamic range. The S21 Ultra 5G's autofocus is reliable in most situations, but it noticeably slows down in low light and high contrast scenes. In our bokeh test, we measured good subject isolation thanks to a pretty wide simulated aperture. But the bokeh quality wasn't quite as good as on the S20 Ultra. Still, the blur gradient is also quite well rendered. Where the S21 Ultra surprised us was an image noise. Noise was visible in all conditions and sometimes it was very strong. Fine details were lost, especially in indoor and low light conditions. Landscapes in particular were problematic with some losses of texture in all conditions and unexpected level of noise in outdoor and low light. Texture and noise trade-offs were also noticeable in zoom. Despite the very long range capabilities of the S21 Ultra's 240 millimeter equivalent telecamera, 
texture rendering was sometimes a bit unnatural and noise was quite visible. Even the wide-angle lens produced images with a high level of noise, especially in indoor conditions. Videographers will find that globally, the S21 Ultra offers great possibilities like super steady videos, 8K videos, and more. But those options have their own costs in terms of time and quality. We tested videos at 4K, 60 frames per second, and our video recording test showed an overall lower quality than we expected. Exposure and white balance were stable and dynamic range fairly extended in indoor and outdoor conditions. Autofocus was accurate. The perception of motion was also smooth thanks to the high frame rate. But on the other hand, just like for stills, the level of details was low and noise was visible in all conditions. There was a residual motion in static conditions and a jello effect that were often observed in all conditions. Unlike for the photos, colors in video were desaturated and white balance casts were visible. To summarize, our camera test results on the S21 Ultra were somewhat underwhelming. Now let's turn the device around and see how it did in the display protocol. With well-adapted brightness and faithful colors, the S21 Ultra ensures a pleasant HDR10 video watching experience. The high brightness level of the device makes it very readable in both indoor and outdoor conditions. And it's very smooth in both web browsing and in the gallery app. Frame drops are well managed when watching video. Some of the negatives we noticed included an oversaturation of colors when adapting to very bright outdoor conditions. Zooming in the gallery app was not quite accurate and touches are not correctly detected on the edges when playing video games. And the blue light filter adapts its efficiency according to the time of day, but it is not filtering enough blue light out in any case. Video viewing is a definitely a high point for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G Exynos, where it now takes the lead among all the devices to this point. Perhaps more impressive is that the S21 Ultra 5G's video score bests that of the Note 20 Ultra 5G Exynos. The S21 Ultra delivers a class-leading performance because of its excellent brightness and its color fidelity while watching HDR10 content. Now let's turn to audio. The S21 performed well across all attributes even if slightly less so than last year's S20. There was good balance and localizability and decent dynamics at low volume. And what was particularly notable in playback was there were hardly any artifacts. On the recording side of things, the S21 Ultra scored very well with few artifacts, doing slightly better than last year's flagship in the series. The sound and live video recording offered a very high degree of wideness, and recordings handled high noise level situations very well, like an electronic music concert. Now for the scores. To summarize, when it comes to the camera, we had some mixed results. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G Exynos can capture good pictures and good video clips across a wide range of conditions. But considering the impressive specs, we expected a little bit more. We found that the S20 Ultra had an edge over the S21 Ultra in key performance areas such as bokeh. The older model just produced better detail, lower noise, and slightly more precise isolation of the subject from the background. Despite the improved zoom specs, the S21 Ultra Tele images showed unnatural texture rendering and lower levels of detail than the best in class and the S20 Ultra at all tele settings. In display, problems with touch make the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G less than ideal for gamers. But overall, it's a great display, especially for watching video. And in audio, the S21 Ultra produced a solid performance in playback and recording. 
So in which one of the rigorous Dexomark protocols did the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G really excel? Camera? Display? Audio? The answer is display. Where the S21 Ultra is now the number one ranked smartphone display in our database, overtaking another of the brand's models, the Note 20 Ultra 5G Snapdragon. Read all our detailed reviews of the S21 Ultra 5G Exynos on Dexamark.com or click here. We'll also be reviewing other devices in the S21 line as well as the Snapdragon versions. So be sure to tune in to Dexamark.com and to our social media channels. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.